told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah As you fade away
it is so so very beautiful and i love it and i'm like i hope everybody is doing awesome welcome to my stream i'm nikki i am a home cook from texas today we are making some chicken pot pie pastries and so i hope that you love it come get hungry because that's what we're making today and it is um yummy to make it home mid what are you doing good morning i'm glad you're doing good mid and it's an easy recipe as always my day is good um my husband has another day of jury duty um so it's been non-stop this morning um and so i just hey but I had a pot of coffee ready for him before he left. So, that man has to have coffee before he goes anywhere or before that man wakes up. So, <laughs> I had a pot. And he even put uh, some Javi coffee in there. If you guys haven't been on my previous stream, they are sponsoring us right now. They did that last year. They had sent me some caramel. They had come out with new, new flavors. So my last stream on, was it Monday or Tuesday? I can't remember. Anyway, I made a coffee cake and it was so good and I made it with the Javi coffee. So uh, it was yummy. You're about to get hungry, let's go. <laughs> Me too. I haven't had chicken pot pie in forever. So what had happened on my last stream, I was trying to prepare a menu and I randomly, so I buy puff pastries. They are awesome, by the way. But I have never, ever seen puff pastry shells before. And so, you know how I am. I always grab random stuff. And then when I was showing chat on the last stream, I look over and there is a recipe for chicken pot pastries. I was like, heck yeah. So they look pretty cool. So, and they look different. I was showing chat. Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. So these are what to put. So you cook these first. So all you do is make what's in the chicken pot pie. Um, the filling and once these are done cooking you put it inside these things so i am super curious how these are going to cook considering i've never made these before so we'll see cups for love good morning you crazy people we are cute dog always chilling i know i always say this i don't understand she can fit i gotta tell you something she can fit is good for me. on the bed but she always likes laying where she's hanging off you want to say hi to everybody hey just call tay how have you been where have you been where have you been where have you been I see you. Well, I can't say where have you been. I couldn't stream um, for a week. So, because work was crazy. So, I'm just now coming back this way this week. So, we're doing it. Nenex mom. Oh, much love. We love you. Another person who I, I haven't seen in forever. Owen Fletcher said, I've missed you. I've missed you too. Where the heck are you? Where have you been? Where have you been, Stranger Danger? It is so good to see you here, Owen Fletcher. It is always a pleasure, always a pleasure. So, morning Cubs, much love, Nenix says. Where are the cute cats? Oh, where are, where are Oreo? Oreo will make his rounds. I am pretty sure he will jump on. Oreo! He'll, he'll come around. He, he loves making an appearance. He loves making an appearance. He's not camera shy. 
Just call me Tay. I've been good and just busy with work and went and visited family in Alabama. Let's go. I almost thought it said Arizona because I want to go visit my grandma in Arizona. She's not doing well. And so I want to spend some quality time with her. She turns 90 in June. Um, and so, so she needs some prayers. So if you could please pray for my grandma, um, she's a wonderful lady and, uh, it's heartbreaking, but, um, yeah, she, she's a sweetheart. Yes. Um, you've been busy as heck, but I'm slowly coming back. Oh, I completely understand. I thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, uh, what did Cup say? I missed it. He is back to acting like himself, Cubs. That is so good to hear. That is awesome that he recovered quickly. You know we've been praying for you, so and your boy. So that's awesome. All the love to Nikki's grandma. Yes, please. Um yes, please. I'm not going to try to get, I'm, I'm going to try not to get emotional on stream about it, but yes, just, just, even if you're not a prayerful person, send, send my grandma Emily some, some good vibes. So, anyhow, so guys, this, uh, oh, Cubs was here on my last stream too. Um, uh, I'm going to make those chicken pot pies that we randomly saw the, um, a recipe on the back so we're doing that cubs we're doing that so and i'm hungry i'm hungry to my tummy it is so good seeing y'all i uh, definitely coffee 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 you know what i'm gonna have a piece of that coffee cake so if you weren't in my last stream um uh, i made and it is so good it is so so good um, I made some coffee cake with the Javi coffee that was sent to me. And I'm actually going to heat up a little piece because this mama's hungry. So hold on a second. All right. All right. Here we go. I got my I got my fancy paper plates. <laughs> I got my fancy paper plates. Um, no onion cuts, Nikki. I will make you cry like a solo cute doggo. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Uh, but it's hard. I love her. But she's going to be 90. She's going to be 90. Oh. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna have, so what I did with the coffee cake that I made, and I only put, um, since it's a concentrate coffee, I only put one table, or yeah, one tablespoon in um, the actual cake that I had, the coffee cake that I had made. And I drizzled the caramel on top, and it's so good. Who likes coffee cake? Who likes coffee cake? I just need to warm this up for like 15 seconds. And so this is the caramel that I used. Oh my gosh. And so the last stream, those stuffed sausages with mashed potato goodness. I am totally putting that on my presentedlove.com website. Holy moly, so good. So, so good. I'm putting that on there. And my friend was asking for my crack chicken recipe. I call it crack chicken on crack. <laughs> so you add it some extra goodness. So I'm glad that she was asking the, for the recipe. So I wrote it all out. Um, that way I can put that on my, my website as well. Um, holy, yeah. I got caramel all over this. I am so messy, I swear to God. Hey, a date night in is here. How are you doing? Yes, let's go. So a date night in, what I'm doing, um, I'm having another piece of the coffee cake that I had made. 
and I am if you're new to my channel at date night and I hope you're doing fabulous uh oh I looked at uh I went because I love how your website is set up I went and looked at your website um oh, again the story the draft goes oh hey! there's y'all are so cute I love their um clips they're very they remind me a lot of Zero, Zero and I. There's a lot of couples on, on Twitch that are absolutely amazing. And I just, I just love seeing you guys. Thank you. Can you believe it's been 22 months, Kyle? Can you believe it? Let me get my fork. So if you're new to my channel, I like making easy, um, easy recipes that you can make at home. Uh, Kyle, we cook very similar. So I have a question. So I've always, I love pastry puffs, right? I've never had the um, puff pastry shells. I saw this randomly at the store. Like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try that stuff. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. So, um, and then. When I looked on the back, they had a a chicken chicken pot pie pastry recipe. Like, mmm, that's gotta happen. Mmm. Coffee cake for the win. And you gotta add the syrup, the chocolate syrup. You've never had them. They tend to have that coloring additive I'm allergic to, sadly. What? I didn't what color additive I can look if the puff pastry shells have it culpable have no fear <laughs> culpable is here he's <laughs> culpable what are you doing you want to buy it on my coffee cake mmm Coffee cake with coffee for the win. And I just dropped um, a small piece in my sink. It is so good. I added hazelnut to it. Hazelnut creamer to it. You want some pot pie, please? I eat cups. I have not had it in forever. It's raining and I want tacos it. from out of the sky. Yes, Chef Nugget, newly Alexa, play the congratulations song. We're doing this. Here's congratulations. Chef Chef Malone, featuring Quavo on Amazon Music. Some call her Chef Negin, but I call her Chef Negin. This is for you. Yeah. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps 
you up and out, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I'm excited. Although they denied my shirt that I made that said, pray for Ukraine. I was like, how can you deny a shirt that says, pray for Ukraine? I'm like, oh my word. They approved my one that said, I support um, my truck drivers, which I took an American flag and coincided it and mingled it in with the Canadian flag. And, um, uh, so they approved that one, but not praying for Ukraine. Are they the devil? <laughs> Ruger Wife is here. What is going on? Ruger Wife and Tadaz. Tadaz is here. Everybody's jumping on. Good morning. Good morning. What was going in your head, Nikki, with your brain washed? I'm almost buying that pineapple thing. I don't know. I saw that. I was like, and Chef, Chef Megan loves pineapple. She is a huge fan, fan of pineapple. She especially loves pineapple pizza. So if whenever I get the chance to meet her, I'm going to make her some pineapple pizza. Just kidding. Mmm. <laughs> oh, snap. No way. Tadas is timing out, Chef Negan. Usually it's zero. There was one stream. There was one stream that. <laughs> oh, snap. You're both timed out. This is amazing. Okay, the last time that was redeemed, five people in chat redeemed uh, timing out um, zero. And so he accidentally got banned from the channel because he got timed out so many times. And uh, so we had to remod him and, and he couldn't even get on the stream for the rest of the day. So, it was pretty funny. Okay, let's try that. I gotta do, let me see if I can do this. Let me see. All right. Let's see, let's go. All right. Are you ready? All right, so I have to, can one of my mods do this? Cause I'm trying to do the timeout, but for my computer. Can y'all, can y'all, don't block them and don't, don't fan them, just time them out. I can't do it from here. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Tadas, how do I do it? Okay, time, Tadas, oh, it's not letting me click on it. I'm trying to click, okay, time out Tadas. Wait, wait. I untimed him. Wait. Timed out for 600 seconds. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Time out. Check <laughs> Megan. I'm supposed to. This is not. Welcome in. Welcome in. I had to. <laughs> Nobody's used that in a while. They haven't used that since uh, since my husband was banned <laughs> by accident. He was banned by accident. I th How long does it say that you're timed out for? I can't remember the redemption I thought was 
Was it 10 minutes? You gotta do it for 10 minutes? Obviously, Tadaz and Chef Nagin can't answer me. <laughs> oh, 600 seconds. Is that what it says on the redemption? I thought it had a specific time. I can't remember. I think we were given giving him such a hard time we did it like five to ten minutes each zero chicken pie time yes nice thank you welcome to the fam we are and it's and it's a super easy recipe you can make it home i've never never made it with the puff pastry shells so i'm super curious how this is going to turn out i am eating my coffee cake which is delicious Oh, yummy to my tummy. Mm. All right. I got one more bite. We're doing coffee, cake, and coffee. It's great to see everybody here. Mmm. Menu. Yes. Chicken pot pie pastries. Depending on my work schedule today um uh, i'm waiting on something uh, that depends when how long i can stream so we'll see um uh, if i have time i will make another dish after the chicken pot pie so we'll see so cheers to y'all mm. lulu what are you doing you can't have coffee you can't have coffee. Hmm. All right. Let's finish this off and then we'll get we'll get started. And so all you need to make for this chicken pot pie and you can do it like a regular pie. Oh my god, and I found a recipe. I got to show y'all. And you guys got to tell me if you've had it or not. I'm gonna make it a little different, just like I always do. So I have pie crust. I have an actual pie with. Um, I hope I saved this recipe. Please tell me I saved this recipe. Please tell, oh yes, it's called a corn pie. Let me show you the picture. Look at this. This is a corn pie. All right, so I wanna make this. So it has, um, let's see if it shows the inside. Gosh, why do people write so much? All right, all right. Do they show the slice of pie? Oh yeah, so it's a corn pie. And it has all, good Lord. So, by the way, on my presentedlove.com website, all you'll see when you go to my recipes is the picture, the ingredients, and the directions. I am so ADD, I cannot handle whatsoever reading all that. I'm like, okay, let's get to the point. Uh, any anime watchers here? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. But I know there's a lot of people that do. So let me see if it has another picture. Okay, so here's the ingredients. So if y'all, I think, if I, I don't, if I have all the ingredients, I'll make it today. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I need to get heavy cream. That's one thing you'll need is heavy cream and I have to use a non-dairy heavy cream because heavy cream hurts my stomach. These are the ingredients. If you want to make it um, at home, you can do, um, you get your pie crust, right? It says two teaspoons of olive oil, yellow onion, I have, garlic, I have. Um, you can do a whole jalapeno, pepper but I use I use this because I can't make it too too spicy um where is it 
And this stuff is spicy, so I have to be careful on the amount I use. Where the heck is it? Is that it? Is this it? Yes. So I'm going to use this. It's the organic jalapeno pepper. Uh, peppers, so you can cut up a whole one, but I'm just going to use that. So, and then you're going to yeah. need um, three to four fresh corn on the cob, or you can do it by the cups. Um, and then you'll need your heavy cream, ground pepper, feta. Feta, I need to grab. And guys, I found my scallions finally. Why is my volume not working? Sassy pants with the 22 months. Are you hearing the volume on your end? Because I can't hear it. I can't, I can't hear the notification. And Butters is here. Holy cow. What is going on? You can't hear it? Sometimes it does that. I'm a roly poly bug. Oh, Butters and Sassy Pants is here. Yes, let's go, Butters. Oh, um, Sassy. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares. Standing right there. But if I lay down. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head, I like you in my bed But you keep me on red, oh Everything is like a test, I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really noticed what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Wrong camera, wrong camera. 
Oh, CC, how are you doing? Another sweet streamer. Guys, go follow each other. There's some amazing, amazing streamers in chat that I absolutely adore and that I am so thankful for that they are in my life. Um, let me see if I can get Oreo. Hold on. I got to do them at the same time because uh, Lulu always likes, oh, oh, there comes Oreo. Lulu always tries to steal the treats. Okay, so I got to feed them at the same time. Come here, Oreo. Come here. All right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got to do this at the same time. Hold on. Okay. No. Wait, I got to switch it around. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Hold on. charity that we are doing right now and so if you feel that in your heart to donate you can do explanation point donate and chat um, it's just a very if you haven't experienced um, having a loved one uh, with Alzheimer's it is very very heartbreaking very very heartbreaking uh, what happened uh, you deleted a message. What happened, Ruler Wife? You're on it. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Did they say something naughty? <laughs> it's either naughty or um, they're promote or uh, it's a bot. So, thank you for being here. Ruler Wife is on it. Let's go. All right. What are we doing? I had a brain fart, but anyway, we are, uh, oh, a bot, okay, cool. thank you. And River Life, feel free to um, ban bots. You can automatically ban those. So you don't have to, yeah, you can automatically do that. You are on it, thank you. Thank you. I sure, I look away. As soon as you look away, it happens. <laughs> Lulu, what are you doing? You literally just got a treat and you inhaled it. CC gave you one. Yes. Yes. All right. So this recipe is easy, easy peasy. All it says we have to do is basically do the pastry puff. And I don't know, the design of the pastry, the puff pastry shell is super interesting. 
Has anybody else, I know Kyle says she hasn't used them yet. Has anybody else in chat um, done the shells? Now, I know a lot of you have done the puff pastry, the actual puff pastry sheets, which I absolutely love, but we'll see how these turn out. Goofball! Alexa, play the cop soundtrack. It's for Goofball. Here's Bad Boys by Inner Circle on Amazon Music. Goofball! I think one of my favorite emotes of y'all, of uh, yours, is the heart one. Bad Boys! What you want? I'm sorry to hear that. Lulu! No, do not get in the cat box. No, no, me. So the dogs can't get into the cat litter box. It's like an igloo, but it's a small space. So Oreo can walk up and then over. I don't know how they do it. They still get into the cat litter box and it grosses me out so much. And so I finally bought a gate to block the area where Oreo's cat box is. I get it and put it up and it's broken. So I gotta go take it back to Walmart and get another one. It was broken. I couldn't even. Frustrating. So frustrating. So gross. <laughs> Anybody else's cat do gross or dogs do gross stuff with the cat litter box? It is nasty. Nasty. Uh, it's funny. Because CGR used to have an off option to time out people too for channel points, but ran into the same problem you had with zero after he timed me out, had to add me back as a mod and editor. Oh yeah, it was like a big fiasco and it was hilarious. He couldn't even come back on my channel that day. I don't know if it's because five different people did it and he was like, timed out five to ten minutes each each time they're like who's this person disrupting the stream um we have to have a baby gate on our bathroom because the cat box is the okay so you go through oh i know yeah when i just walked in it i'm not cleaning it right now because i'll throw up tootsie roll is right there it's so gross Oh, my word. Um, your cat is almost the cleanest. I like to think she is anyway. So our cat is clean. It's just the dogs like to eat the poop. And we found a thing, and it worked at first, but they finagle their heads right into it. And so, um, yeah, so I got to get that, that gate. It broke. And I haven't had a chance because I've been so busy to go back to Walmart to exchange it. And I was so frustrated because when I got it home, the little, the wood was like this. And I don't know how I didn't notice that before, but when I was shopping, I was in a hurry. And that was definitely on my to-do list to get a gate for our crazy animals. Our crazy animals, they're cute. Cute, but crazy. All right, I need some foil on here. All right. Let's see how this turns out. Yeah, our cat is such a good cat. We adopted her, I believe, about nine months ago. Not nine months ago, nine years ago. I don't know why I said nine months. Nine years ago. And she is just a wonderful or a wonderful cat. Look, Oreo! Oreo's climbed way up here. So I know you can't see, but I have a a cat bed on the very top because Oreo likes to lay down up there. So it's just a little comfy 
comfy cushion thing so Oreo can lay on it. Uh, so I don't know. I we had to get it because it's so cute how Oreo uh, goes up there and goes to sleep um, up there. And I know Oreo does it at times because our other dog, not Lulu, Poopsy, um, is will oh attack Oreo. So she does it in a playful way. But she can be so aggressive. I'm like, oh my goodness. I can't wait for her. She's almost a year old. I cannot wait for her to get out of that puppy phase because she is wild as can be. Like, I can't even have her on stream nine times out of ten because she's so wild and all over Lulu. And Lulu is old and she don't like it. She's like, my, she's probably like, Maya, 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 and why, not Maya, Maya is my daughter, by the way, I don't know why I said that, I obviously need more coffee, but, um, Lulu's probably like, mama, why did you get this crazy dog, where's, where's my friend, our other puppy went to heaven last year, so that's why we adopted this crazy creature but we didn't know it was crazy until a month after <laughs> we adopted it so it's been stressful it has been stressful um your cat is my best friend when she sees me when i get home how happy oh that's so sweet we were talking about that if you guys don't know i lead a Bible study on Wednesday night at our church, and we talked about animals, and because uh, somebody told me one time, they were like, well, animals don't go to heaven, and so I asked randomly, because we were talking about animals, I was like, I was asking the group, I'm like, do animals go to heaven? They were like, of course they do. They do, definitely do. I was like, because I would be sad if I didn't see uh, my other dog one day. So, and the, I don't know who I heard, heard that from, but I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure sweet animals go to heaven because they have sweet spirits. They love you unconditionally. And all that stuff. All right. How? Oh, yes. Southern Texas Toast. This is um, Southern Texas Toast. Have you used these pastry shells before? It's weird. Look how they're designed. So I'm super curious how this is going to bake. Have you never seen all dogs go to heaven? Have you... I know. I should have told that person. Um... <laughs> Because I was like, that makes me sad. So this is the design of the pastry shell. So it's supposed to puff up nicely. And you take out the center. And in the middle, that's where our chicken pot pie uh, filling goes. So I'm super curious. I need to see um, how long. I just had my glasses earlier. Oh, okay. I'm blind, y'all. I'm, I'm blind. Uh, I haven't seen all dogs go to heaven. Ah, it's been your Lulu out of the cat or no? Lulu out of the cat. I'm gonna have to shut this. Lulu out, 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 out. Oh my goodness! Thank God, Oreo's sleeping at top, so I can shut that door. So gross. Um. Is Kansi, um, uh, our other dog was older and he passed away of congestive heart failure. And, um, uh, I have, I have never had to put a dog down and it, I can't even explain. Well, those who've ever had to do that, it was the worst choice. Cause they were like, well, if you don't, he will continue to like, I guess, um, uh, he would be in a lot of pain and, and they couldn't save him anyway. 
And so making that choice was just terrible. And I've never had to do that. And the pain was just, I, I, I know that's hard. That's the hard part about having a fur baby is when they, when they do, do pass away. And I, that was probably, man, that was, that was more painful than some deaths of humans I've experienced. It was just awful, awful, awful. Um, so I was praying that I didn't have to make that decision, but the vet said, you know, um, if it, you are making the best decision, the vet says, if it was his fur baby, that was the decision that um, he would have made as well. And I've never had, I just, oh my God, that was just absolute worst. Abs I couldn't even stream for a while because of it. Well, what's the degrees? Uh, bake, well, how long do you bake? Okay, 425 minutes, okay, or 425 degrees, 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, let me put it at 425, bake, hold on, hold on y'all, 425, uh, we're getting there, 425, there we go. Um, too many times to count with all the cats, um, you've owned, sorry, you had to get there. It, it, yeah, it, awful. You have an older dog that I've had since he was born. I'm scared to death of having to go through that. I, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's rough. Jedi says, good morning, Jedi. How are you? It wrecks you, but it's the best situation so they don't suffer. 425 minutes. I know. I know. CC. I'm burning it. So what, um, Kyle and if Sassy Pants is still in chat, um, they did something super special for me. Um, they. Oh, Sass, if you're still in chat, I still have that painting that I did for you when your dog passed away. I, so they got me this. I'm not gonna read the poem because I'll cry, but um, Kyle and Sassy Pants sent this to me um, with the poem, and that's our sweet little doggy. He didn't like me putting sweaters on him, but he was cute as can be. He was a three pound miniature chihuahua, and this stays in uh, my daughter's room. So, it was a real sweet frame that they, they got me. And shame on them, they had me open it on stream and I was like a hot, hot mess. Like I look, I looked terrible. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I turn into a tomato. My face turns red and I'm just a hot mess. Four, CC, 425 minutes. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that would definitely burn. Yeah, CC. Yeah, Southern Texas Toast, 425. So it says 18 to 20 minutes on this. And the filling for the recipe is so easy. Uh, you just need some vegetable oil. We need to chop up an onion and saute it. You're gonna need cream, uh, chicken, and uh, I did the, the store brand, 98% fat free. It was way less expensive than the Campbell's brand, so I grabbed this. This was at Tom Thumb. Um, and then you add, you add your milk, oh, and your veggies. I got the last one, guys. So you need a cup of, or you need frozen, um, Frozen mixed vegetables with the peas, the corn, the green beans, all that. They had one bag left. Like, how do you only have one bag at the store of mixed vegetables? But it was meant to be. I got the last bag. And I was, I wanted to make some chicken pot pies today. So I'm glad I got the last bag. That is just so crazy to me. We, here in the U.S., and I know it's um, like this 
um, across the nation, but there are just certain things that we're out of, and it's like, what the heck? What the heck? Like, we ordered furniture from Ashley's Furniture because we moved into our house in August, so we ordered our furniture in July from Ashley's Furniture. Still have not got it. And they're saying that we'll receive it anywhere between April and June. So that if it's till June, that means it'll be a full year until we get our furniture that we ordered last year. Oh, so crazy. I know why am I like, <laughs> these invisible ones, they burn my eyes. They're crazy. You can cut them for me. So let me make sure I'm not missing any ingredients because sometimes I do that. We got our puff pastries, vegetable oil, we need chopped onion, cream of chicken soup. It says 98% fat free. Oh, okay. Well, I got the right one. Half a cup of milk. Okay. The frozen mixed vegetables. One package. It says 10 ounces. Let's see. This is 16 ounces. Okay, that's fine. Two cups of chicken. So, um, that's what I almost forgot. I gotta add some chicken, y'all. Chicken pot pie needs chicken. <laughs> oh, how could I forget that? Luckily, my dishwasher just got done. I was running around like a crazy person this morning trying to get dishes done. So, it was a hot, hot mess. Sorry, that's so loud. Oh, Kelly Cakes! Hey, pretty lady. How the heck are you? Thank you for being here. Kelly Cakes, another amazing streamer. If you have a sweet tooth, do not watch her channel. Don't, Close your eyes. Don't read that. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my goodness, you're doing great. I am so glad. Uh, we are doing good too. My husband's um, at jury duty right now. So he's he's doing his thing with that. Um, Kelly Cakes, I'm so glad you're here. Are you streaming today? Are you making us something yummy? She is a great cook. By the way, man, a lot of y'all, I get, it's so hard for me to catch everybody's live stream. So oftentimes I have to watch VODs. Um, and so I just, I love our community and how we support one another. And it's just, uh, I love the food and drink community because we're just a big loving bunch. And no matter what community you are on and on Twitch, I am so thankful you are here as well. And we're family. If you're new to my channel, we are one big family here. A very loving one. So if you're having a, a bad day, our, uh, our chat will most certainly cheer you up. I promise you that. Um, where's my trivet? I need my trivet. Kelly Case, I almost, I almost forgot to put my chicken in my chicken pot pie. Who does that? Who does that? Me. Me. I do that. All right. Hold on. I'm looking for it. I did the dishes, but I was in a hurry. So sometimes when I do that, if I... Of course I did that. I just dropped some of my pants. Lovely. All right. That's all right. Let's see. See if I put my trivet in here. Uh, no. I hope I didn't misplace it. A veggie pot pie. I know. Oh, you're taking the day off. You're taking the day off. Oh, I hear you. Uh, my work day yesterday was so beyond busy. I couldn't. I couldn't stream. And last week was beyond. Probably one of my busiest weeks I've had in a long time. I couldn't stream for the whole week. But I'm glad I'm here with y'all. Today, if I can find my trivet, y'all, what did I do? Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I 
found it, y'all. Yay. All right. Let's get our chicken. Lulu, what are you doing, dear? Lulu's like, I'm on a mission. All right, so I need to get the chicken out of my other freezer. I thought I had more in here. I guess I did not. So give it me a second. Butters must go take care. Oh, Butters, thanks for being here. And thank you for being a lovely human. Oh my goodness, Butters is a, a streamer as well. She is a sweetheart. She does a lot of charity too. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Moment, my fingers are freezing. Ah. All right, I got my chicken. Cold, 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 cold. All right, I gotta get my chicken in here so we can pressurize it. Hold down. Lulu is making, making the rounds. Hold on a second. Here we go. You always need water at the bottom. Anytime you're pressurizing your, your chicken or any type of meat. So, <gasps> chai tea on what the heck? It is so lovely to see. So many people in today that I haven't seen forever. This is so amazing. How the heck are you? I need my, I need my cooking scissors or my kitchen scissors. I hope you did amazing. Yeah, there is some lovely, lovely humans that have been popping in today and I appreciate it. All right, let's get this going. I gotta tell you something. Bacon is good for me. Bacon, bacon. Oh my gosh. Cubs, that bacon on those sausage mashed potato boats I made. Holy moly. Uh, it was so good. You're doing okay. Just wanted to type a hello to you. Oh my goodness. Thanks for making my day and popping in. So, so very lovely to see you. I'm just trying to get this chicken out. Get this in here. It's so much easier for me. I don't know who else is like this. Uh, it's so much easier for me. Nine times, well, it's, with chicken, I do this. Um, it's so much easier for me to do the, fr I always get a bunch of different kinds of frozen chicken, um, and I just pressurize it. It just makes my life easier because, um, because my schedule's always so wonky, like it never fails. I'll buy, I'll buy meat. Um, and I used to do this with chicken all the time and I realized, okay, this is not working for me. Um, and then something will come up, I can't cook, and then the chicken gets, gets bad. And I'm like, okay, frozen chicken it is. All I have to do is pressurize it or thaw it out and cook it that day. Um, so, that is, that's why you always also see me um, using my Instapot. Now, sometimes I will 
um, will not get the frozen chicken, but however, nine times out of 10, I do. Um, and, and I do that a lot on my stream as well. If you're new to my channel, I always try to, you know, give tips and tricks on what I do that makes my life easier and hopefully it helps you at home as well. I try for the most part to make um, all my recipes super easy so it's something um, simplified and fun to make at home. And so it's popping around everywhere. And so guys, um, on the 20th, we are doing a Cajun cook-off at our church, and I signed up for some jambalaya, y'all. I signed up for jambalaya. Who likes jambalaya? I'm gonna, y'all know I like sausage, so I am definitely gonna add a lot of awesome sausage in there. Um, I was debating whether to add shrimp or not. I'm not going to. Um, specifically because, um, so in Texas, now if you go to, and I've explained this in chat before, that like if you go to an Asian restaurant, their shrimp is awesome. It doesn't taste fishy. But if you go to the market here in Texas, any market, I don't care what market you're at, I can't stand fishiness and the shrimp I have found anywhere you go, if you get it in a market, it's fishy. So I'm not going to add that into my um, my jambalaya. So I'll probably do a, sauc uh, a sausage and chicken jambalaya. And so I will um, probably be streaming on the 19th to prepare it because I won't have time before church on Sunday to cook it. So I'm going to stream it on that Saturday. So on the 19th, I plan on streaming that. Oh, Laura, Laura, what is going on? Hey, I will do that. I'm on my last chicken to put in here. Pippi! Oh, Pippi, uh, zeros at um, jury duty again. So he made the first cut on Tuesday and he's back. So this is the final final to see if he's actually on the jury jury, on the jury jury. So we'll see. And Pippi, you gotta tell your wife. Hold on, one second. I will do that, Laura Laura. Um, hold on, let me get this in here. I'm having issues with multitasking today. Um, let's get all this in here. So, uh, hold on. Yeah. Lily, you want another treat? You want another treat? You have to go on the 8th. Oh, you have, there's a lot of people doing jury duty right now. Just getting ready to take my dog to the bed. I'm super nervous. Oh, I pray that everything goes well. We were actually just talking about that earlier in stream. Please let us know how it goes. Oh, and Tiffy, what I was gonna say. So every time we do a charity, and so right now we're doing Alzheimer's Fund. Uh, uh, so, and I'll dye my hair for whatever ribbon of the charity we support. Now it's come out, I'll, I'm gonna dye it again, but uh, it was purple. And um, I will never use that brand again. It was terrible and it's like dry my, I've never had a dye like that dry my ends like it did. So Pippi, I put, I put the, the, um, the body cream on the bottom. So tell your wife that and it made it way better. But don't, I do not like the Splat brand. So I will never ever use this brand again. It was terrible, terrible. So I bought a, so I, I'll show you the one I'm gonna use. Hold on. So I use L'Oreal to do my hair blonde. Now I usually do the Colorista if it's any type of color in my hair. And I love that brand. 
but they were all out of the purple, and purple's the ribbon for Alzheimer's awareness. So I don't know. I've used, I haven't used, um, anybody in chat, have y'all used the color? This is L'Oreal. It's called Power Violet. So this will be the first time I'm using the color color for this. I do my own hair just because it saves me $150 when I can do my own for $8. Uh, so anybody use that brand? Pippi, I know you probably have. Yes, please let me know. I appreciate it. Our cat lost his manhood yesterday. Oh no! That's what you use on your chest hair? Nice. Is it to match some of the bath bombs? Is it, is it Pippi? Let me make sure there's no, okay. That is holy. <laughs> you are so funny. All right, let me pressurize this chicken. All right, there we go. And then, oh, Laura, Laura, I did not forget about you, dear. I am going to, I'm going to do Lulu. Hold on, Lulu. I got you. I'm going to do it. There we go. You ready? You want some treats? Hold on. All right. I'm going to give you the, the CBD one because you all over the place. <laughs> Hold on, here we go. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Come on, Lulu. Lulu, here you go. Oh my goodness. She says, thank you. Thank you for the treat redemption. I'm using Doggy Chews peanut butter. It says for positive pets, it's spelled P-A-W for positive. I don't know. It's supposed to help dogs with their joints. It's like a CBD dog treat. I didn't know they made CBD dog treats, but it's supposed to help like if they're, um, and also to calm them down. I don't know. Has anybody ever used that for their animals? Um, we got it for Poopsie. They said it would be good for her. But I noticed, like, um, uh, Lulu, when she's in pain, especially when the uh, weather changes, it helps her so much. Because for I can tell in the mornings if she's hurting, if she's moving real slow and kind of wobbling. But, yeah, those, those treats help her. I almost didn't get it because I was like, do you really give animals that? But they said it helps, and I've seen a difference in her. Um, because she's so much older um, in her movement, I guess I should say. All right, so we need to put these in for 18 to 20 minutes. I'll start off at 18. Alexa, set timer for 18 minutes. So. 18 minutes. I got now. to cut up my onion. We're going to saute. It says to saute the onion. So let me get a small pan for that. I don't need a big one. Uh, let's dice up these bad boys. Yeah, Pissy, definitely tell your wife that because I was. That stuff helps so much with my hair. All right, we're gonna cut up these bad boys. Anybody want to cut up my onions, please? I always ask for volunteers of cutting up my onions. I am not a fan for sure. All right, so, Lulu, you all right, buddy? She is in her own world today. I think she's, so, <laughs> I think she's just waiting for 
for redemption. Are you? No, no, no. You can't overeat deer. She has a sensitive stomach, so I have to be careful with that. Uh, you want me to play Electric Avenue? Alexa, play Electric Avenue. Here's Electric Avenue by Electric Avenue on Amazon Music. Is this what you want? Zero would love this song. Too bad he's not here. I bet you he would have just stopped playing. Electric Avenue by Electric Avenue on Amazon Music. See, it did it again. Hold on. Well, I guess it's playing the same one. Alexa, stop. CDM, welcome in. Welcome to the fam. Heck yeah, come on in. Can somebody please... Put in the menu for our new viewer that just popped in to say hi. Thank you for being here. We are making chicken pot pie pastries. So I have very sensitive eyes. So if it looks like I'm riding a motorcycle, about to get riding on a motorcycle here in a sec, <laughs> these are actual, these are actual, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, onion goggles. That's the thing. This was a gift from somebody who I adore. Yeah. You most certainly can. We got several. So I'm using puff pastry shells. I dislike cutting onions, but that's what we have to do. That's one of the ingredients. So I'm going to hurry as fast as I can to get these bad boys chopped off. My least favorite thing to do besides the potatoes. But, guys, so... I didn't peel the potatoes for our sausage mashed potato boats, and it tasted so good. And I'm so glad I didn't have to peel them because I um, don't like peeling potatoes at all. It's like cutting up onions. You're hungry? Yeah. Do you got any big plans of what you're eating today? What's everybody eating today? Anybody making anything special? Even if you're going to go out to eat, even if you're going through the drive through let let me know what you're doing today. You're hungry too. <laughs> yeah, I am too. That's why I had to um, take a slice of that coffee cake um, that I had made the other day on my last stream. So, and we're going to need to uh, saute these. So that's, that's what we're doing next. You're making ramen. Nothing so far, Cece says. Ooh, I love ramen. Oh, speaking of which, so uh, I, I bought these broths. Oh, Cub, since you're making ramen, I can't wait to show y'all this. 
And I believe it's the Good and Gather brand. They always make awesome stuff inexpensively. Um, I can't wait to show you. So these broths, they had a ramen one. I, after I cut these onions up, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Chicken roast with smashed potatoes, heck yeah. Oh my goodness, that sounds delicious. Ah! I didn't press my glasses up close enough to my face so I can feel the onions in my eyes. Crap. I do that sometimes. I don't think this is gonna work today. Oh. So the thing is, if you get onion goggles at home, you gotta make sure it's like pressed completely up to your face, which doesn't hurt your face because they have foam, but sometimes I don't do it tight enough so the, so it still bothers my eyes. And then sometimes it doesn't. All right, so we're gonna chop these up real quick. Woo! Good Lord. Yeah, so since zero's on jury duty, this is gonna be our dinner. Um, and I may have time to make something quick for me. Since he's not gonna be here, he, um, I wonder if they give him a lunch break for jury duty. Those who have done uh, jury duty, do they give you lunch breaks? Because if not, my husband gets hangry. Oh, he gets hangry, y'all. And then I would feel so bad for the judge and the juries, the other jury members. <laughs> Be like, I should warn them. I should send them a letter and say, hey, you're next to my husband, make sure he has coffee and food. Or he can't think clearly. He'll be hangry and he'll be like, you were guilty. <laughs> you were guilty. <laughs> All right, these onions are good and diced. There we go. Well, that's enough. Hey! Hey, Aurea, you saying hi to everybody? Holy moly. Oh, let me make sure my lid. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do? Crap. There we go. Sometimes I forget to do that. If you have an Instapot, sometimes I'll forget to push the valve forward. So, um, if you like here, they buy you lunch? Heck yeah. Oh, that onion gave me a headache. Good lord, that was a strong onion. I think I only need one. Let me look at that. It said one yellow onion, I think. It didn't say the size, though. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yep. Well, it says medium. That's about medium. All right. And so... Let's mix in all our goodies. So, so we're gonna saute our onions and then we're gonna add the soup, the milk, our mixed vegetables, and we're gonna bring it to a boil. We're gonna reduce it for five minutes until the vegetables are tender. And then add the chicken and then mix up the mixture and then we'll put it in the pastry shells that are in the oven baking that we have about seven minutes but the time that'll give it time to cool off and everything oh my gosh i slept on my neck wrong so i have like a knot in the back of my neck i hate when that happens Ugh. all right here we go so let me get started on the onions 
Do that in a medium. Let me grab some butter. What do you think? Or actually, I'm gonna do a little bit of avocado oil. That's what I'll do with that. Okay. I can't wait to try this because I have not had chicken pot pie in forever. So this is gonna be awesome. Where did my little spatula thing go? Oh, there it is. Wait. All right. Oh, there it is. I just need to clean it off because I used this for the coffee cake this morning. Nikki Bisenbaum. Oh, yes, and that Bisenbaum is absolutely awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, Pippi and his wife, uh, if you do explanation point Pippi in chat, they have a, an amazing company. And I can't wait till we get to do stuff together. Um, and so they have a bison bomb that we use, um, especially with Zero, because he has a ton of back pain. And it helps him tremendously. All right, so let's get these onions in here. Lulu is by my feet. Lulu, do you want to go lay down or not? <laughs> Lulu's like, Lulu is all over the place today. She's making her rounds on the kitchen. I just, sometimes she will knock the, um, the wiring and then my camera will freeze up. If she, because I have wires all around me. So, yeah, to prepare for a cooking stream, if you have multiple cameras, um, yeah. So, we have like a little cart that I put my computer system on and all the wiring and all the cameras. And so, when it's time for me to stream, I pull the cart out. And it's, it's a, to get everything prepared for stream takes, it takes a bit. Um, and so I'm glad we have a cart now because it definitely helps. But the problem is, is the wiring because Lulu can knock it loose. And I've actually accidentally knocked them loose a few times too. You just gotta have to be careful. All right. All right, so right now, I need to switch my camera angle. So, let's figure it out. Ugh. All right. Right now, I'm just sauteing these with some avocado oil, and then we're going to add in all the goodies, which is the milk, the cream of chicken, so we're going to give that a moment. I had to, had to switch the camera angle since we're done chopping up those onions. Um, Miss Flynn! are you? What are you doing, pretty lady? How the heck are you in the hubby? Miss Swift sometimes does food and drink channel as well. Miss Flips, I hope you and the hubby are doing well. Her husband is a DJ. Hey, Alexa, play the Hey Mr. DJ song. Hey, Mr. DJ. Sorry, I'm late. Coloring my hair. What color are you doing? We were calling. We were talking about that earlier. It's for your hubby. Hey, and all my other DJ friends in chat. <laughs> That's for you. Let me play that song. You're doing blonde. As usual, okay, so I was showing what brand to use. I was telling them I didn't like the splat brand for when I do like color color. So I'm gonna try this one. It's a uh, power violet, and I'm only doing it on this part for my for the charity event. There you go, Pippi. Alone. They're my minor damage. <laughs> 
the music to Southern Texas Toast. Um, my my thing, the awesome, awesome, awesome thing that you uh, clipped uh, got taken down because I was playing music at the same time. So they block out music uh, any anytime that happens. But guys, please throw up those emotes. I love when it's emote only. And now you can do it again. <laughs> Southern Texas Toast is like, find Nikki, find Nikki <laughs> through all the emotes. Y'all were insane that day. And that was such a lovely clip you did, Southern Texas Toast. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to save it for our videos. Woo! Alexa! We got a rooster. <laughs> we got a rooster, y'all. Emo, emo uh, only is so fun. All right, it said, why is it, why is my Instapot doing that? Wait, why is it doing that? I hope I don't need to get a new Instapot. It's been finicky. Alright, so I need to lower the temp a little bit on here. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Okay, I will try to be back. I have a few things to do this morning. Oh, thank you for dropping by. And absolutely, please, 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 please keep us updated on your fur baby. We'll be praying for your little sweet thing. Um, and thank you for being here. I hope it goes well. Yes, please, please, please keep us posted. We're family here. We want to send you all the good vibes and all the love. I mean it. All right. So after these are done sauteing, we are going to add all the goodness. All the goodness. All right. So we're just going to need... Our vegetables, our cream of chicken, hold on, and our chicken, hold on, and I need my milk. What all we need? How much milk we need? Half a cup, and I need 10 ounces, and I think this is 16, yes, 16 ounces. All right, so we baked, how much? Oh, I need to pull off the pastry, all right. Hold on. I almost forgot to pull out the pastry puffs. Holy cow, we can't be doing that. We can't be doing that. Oh my goodness, and I have my little mittens in the wash. Let me grab. Oh, I gotta show you these cute towels that one of my really good friends got me. Hold on, I'm gonna use one of them to pull a, pull the pastry puffs out. Okay. Oh, these are perfect. Okay, we got it. So that is perfect timing on that. Um, so, so let me show you this. Cubs is gonna like this one a lot. Um, yeah, for my birthday, one of my good friends got me these kitchen towels and I just love them. All right, this one says, don't go bake in my heart. This one says, what does this one say? Chop it like it's hot. Let's see. What does this one say? Just beat it. <laughs> Just beat it. And what does this one say? It says, I gotta tell you something. Choose your weapon. Choose your weapon. Wait, you can't see it. Choose your weapon. Isn't those cute? I love them. Yeah, she got me those for my birthday a couple weeks ago. Or was it a week ago? February 17th was my birthday, so. She got me a lot of cute stuff, and so did Life So Daily. Where's my, she got me these little, um, 
things as well. This says keep calm and bake. I used this one for my coffee cake I did the other day. Uh, be wild, be wild, eat dessert first, which would be my daughter's favorite. And this one says life. What does that say? Life is best with cookies. She would want this one too. She would want this one too. Yeah, they're super cute. Jerry! Bacon makes everything better. You bet. Oh my gosh, you would love what we made. Hold on, let me check on my onions real quick. Jerry, so you would love what I had made. I can't remember if it was Tuesday or Wednesday. It was, uh, I took uh, sweet onion sausage and also a bourbon apple sausage and I stuffed the sausage with um, uh, mashed potatoes but I loaded it up with like bacon uh, butter so I it was let me show you a picture for those I posted it on my socials where's my phone I'll show you what it looked like and it was so good it was so good I was telling everybody earlier, oh, Jerry, one of my best friends is coming to the Cajun cook-off. And my next door neighbor, his birthday's that Friday. Their family's going to go to the Cajun cook-off as well. All right. Let me show you the picture of what I made. And it was so good. All right. Hold on. Yep. All right. You're seeing my onions. Look, wait, you can't really tell, I guess. All right, it's a sausage underneath. It's like a sausage mashed potato loaded boat. A boat? Would you call it a boat? A spud? A sausage spud? You guys got to think of a name for it. You got to think of a name for it. I have no idea, but it was... It was a party, party on the taste buds. It was so good. It was. <laughs> Hold on, dessert isn't good. Yes, it can be first. All right. I want a Hold lick on. it. Let's get in here. Everybody get the lick. I gotta take that off the stove for a second. All right, let's turn this down. <gasps> Culinary Rewind is here. Oh my God, if you don't know her, guys, I had the absolute honor of spending the whole Sunday with her and she came to church with us. She is a gem and we're gonna get her here in Texas. She says, all we have to do is find her a 1950s kitchen which will be so easy, be so easy, you miss us so much. We miss you being here. Okay, so I was telling people, my Instapot is being finicky, y'all, and it's driving me crazy. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I've had that thing for two years now, so it might, might be that time to replace it. I don't know. But, um, calling everyone, uh, so we had such a special day on Sunday. I can't even explain. We went to church. We ended up, we went to Babe's Chicken. Uh, we went to Bucky's. We ended up at Sam Moon. We ended up at a candy shop. And it was amazing. I got to hang, we got to hang out with Irish Kate and her fiance too. And also, a dash of joy. It was just an awesome blessing. I can't even explain the day, but it was awesome. It was amazing. Uh, Miss Flett, little Miss Nikki, my best friend, just bought a house in Texas. I'll be over there in the summer. You have to. You have to. Let me know, Miss Flips. That is awesome. Where in Texas? No matter where it is, you still got to come here. <laughs> That's the rule. Kate is still talking about those mashed potatoes. The ones from Babes, heck yeah. Oh, they were so delicious. She loves it. And she said the same thing you did, the exact same thing. She messaged me. She was like, thank you so much. My heart is so full. 
And I was like, oh my gosh. And that made my heart feel full. And then it was just amazing. Y'all spoiled my daughter. Y'all spoiled my daughter. Lulu, what are you doing? She, look at her. What in the world? Lulu! What are you doing? Lulu, what are you doing? Lulu's staring at me, hoping I will drop something, but she has a sensitive stomach, so I have to make sure that I do not drop anything whatsoever. Uh, her husband is in the Army. I know they're near Fort Hood. Oh, I know exactly. Um, I was with, I dated a Marine for a long time, and uh, so I know, I know exactly where, where that is. So, yeah, Fort Hood is a definitely a spot uh, for our, our military peeps here in Texas. Um, Culinary Rewind says there was a lot of love going on and exactly what I needed. It was exactly what we needed, too, because as you know, Zero's dad passed away, so we have been, like, on an emotional roller coaster, to say the least, and it was just such such a loving bunch like church service was insane anyway it was amazing as always but it really and i could tell it spoke to your heart too so it was just making my heart happy and uh yeah it was it was just amazing a whole experience so thank you for being here in texas and spending your time with us it was awesome Hippie, we are going to Universal for two weeks. When are you going? Because ask it. There's going to be a bunch of people. I don't know. Electric frying pan or Instapot. Yeah, I need. How much time do I have left? It is making finicky noises. Okay, I have nine minutes left on the chicken being pressurized. April 23rd. Okay, I got to see when Aspie is going. Cause she's gonna go visit Kyle and she has um, some family there too. Cause I know a lot of people that are going out there. There's some awesome streamers out there too. So, yeah. So we got our puff pastries done. Um, I feel like I need to put this in a bigger, bigger pan cause I'm gonna be adding, adding a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. Hold on y'all. All right, give me a second. All right, so I'm taking, I guess I should have put this in the bigger pan. I didn't think I would need to, but all right. Okay, okay. so you guys want to see what the puff pastries look like? Let me show you real quick. Aspie is coming next week, I believe. Oh, okay. Are you going to get to meet her too? Sorry, I had to switch pans. All right. Here's our little puff pastries. And so what we're going to do... Wait. I'm not even doing the right camera angle. Crap. Okay. There we go. Whoops. There we go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to push this in. We're going to take that off. We're going to fill it with our chicken pot pie goodness, and then put that pastry top on. So it's gonna, yeah. So I've never had it like this before, but I was craving chicken pot pie. And so that's how we're gonna do it. We made it out of the pastry shells. So yeah, Miss Fliss, hopefully you get to, to meet her. So right now, I just have to add our vegetables, our cream of chicken. Uh, we need some seasoning. We need a half a cup of milk. Let me run that. Hey, Nikki. Hope you. Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Oh, secret! What? What are you doing? Holy friggin' moly! Stranger Danger is here with the eight month sub. How the heck have you been? <laughs> Working sorta. How are you and the fam? Thank you for the 
at Twitch Prime in that eight months. I hope you're doing awesome. Zero's at jury duty right now, or he would definitely pop on stream real quick to say, hello. I gotta tell him that you were here. How the heck are you, dear? I know you're kind of working. Are you working from home still? Yeah, I couldn't even stream last week because of work. Like work was insane. And so my schedule is gonna be a little different depending on my work week. So I may or may not, I may be able to keep the same schedule, I don't know. My hours are gonna be kind of wonky. And it may not always be the same days like you guys are used to. So I'll keep you posted. You're all over the place. I totally get it. Dixie says, good morning, beautiful. Good morning to you. How are you doing? You always work from home. I'm literally in meetings all day today, so I'm working stuff in the background. Well, thank you for stopping by. Good Lord, it is so good to see you. I'm making some, and this is something easy for your wifey to make at home. Um, all you need to do, and... I've never seen these before, so I don't know where you're from if they have these. And you can get them in the frozen food section. I usually get just the regular puff pastries, but they have puff pastry shells. And so we're making miniature chicken pot pies. We're gonna put the awesome filling inside the pastry shells. So, Dixie, good chilling and drinking the much Vital morning coffee. Oh, I'm almost done with mine. Yeah, and I had to have my coffee cake that I made. Is it the day before that on my last stream that I used this? Guys, this stuff is awesome. I've had a uh, Jotty Coffee has been sponsoring our stream. And so I already know what I'm going to make the next time. So I have to post on the socials once a week, all my recipes. And the next time I'm doing it for this, um, using the Javi coffee, I found this the other day and it just sounded good. Hold on. Kate is here. What are you doing? Been working from home for two years now. Plan to always work from home. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll let Zero do that too. Fingers crossed, he's been working for two years. I like having him at home too because sometimes he can help me when I'm um, needing help with work stuff or technical difficulties on stream. He can't always do that because he's constantly working, but yeah. So this is what I wanna make when I do our next thing with Javi Coffee. Have you, I saw this and y'all know I do random stuff on stream all the time. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the coffee, but I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna put, I have some, not, and I'm gonna let y'all pick the ice cream that I'm putting in there. I bought several, I'll do a poll. And then on top of the ice cream, I'm gonna put this magic shell unicorn thing. I've never used this. It just sounded fabulous, so that's what we're doing. Uh, these, this is what I'll let you guys pick from. And if your stomach is sensitive to dairy like it is mine, this is awesome non-dairy ice cream. Uh, so delish, my favorite brand. But Ben & Jerry's came out with a non-dairy ice cream. I may wanna do this, guys, with the coffee, but it's gonna be your choice. Your choice. Um, Southern Texas Toast, you have to watch the rest of your stream later. I'm feeling horrible. Have a great rest of your I pray that you feel better. Southern Texas Toast, I hope you're okay. That makes me sad that you're not feeling well. Get some rest and thank you for being here. So I'm gonna let you guys um, pick between chocolate, cookies and cream, salted caramel, cookie dough, and I've never had this one before. Peanut butter and cookies, non-dairy ice cream made by Ben & Jerry's. Jerry, 
Ben and Jerry's. Jerry, this for you, Ben and Jerry's. I'm super curious how that one is gonna be with some unicorn shell. Ben and Jerry's. Whoop, whoop. Y'all right. didn't know, Jerry is one of our pastors and he's amazing. Um, let's see. Now I can add all this goodness in there. I'll have to switch camera angles so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, we have one minute left of the chicken getting done being pressurized, which is perfect timing for reals. Um, what are you picking ice cream for? Oh, we love ice cream. <laughs> I can't have regular ice cream, so by thanking God, they have non-dairy ice cream. So the ice cream Dixie, and I know you know, I, you probably already know this. We've been sponsored by Javi Coffee because they came. They did this for us last year. They sent us a bunch, and so this, they came out with new flavors, and they sent me caramel, and they asked. Um, for me um, to see if I, I would like to be a part of it. And I would, I've tried it, it's a great product and I love it. Um, and so we're doing the, um, we're gonna do a recipe and I am gonna let you guys pick out the ice cream that goes inside my coffee drink. And we're gonna use this random item, you know how I am about random items, and we're gonna put, you know, the magic shell that hardens when it goes over ice cream. I saw this. I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. My daughter loves unicorns anyway. It's a unicorn magic shell. I don't know what the flavor is, but it looks friggin' awesome. Um, I can't believe you come so far that you're sponsoring it all. Well, as a streamer, and I was mentioning this last stream, so as a streamer, or if you're a social media influencer by, by any means, you typically get a lot of people that um, sponsor, try to sponsor you and try to get you to promote their product. I do not uh, accept that many. The reason being is I have to try the product first because I'm a firm believer. I don't care how much you pay me or, or whatever. If I don't believe in the product or um, I will not promote it whatsoever. And I do like this. I do like this. If I love your, like Pippi's product, they have sent me some amazing stuff. So much so, I'm gonna put it on my website. It is amazing. So yeah, I always try, I'm a firm believer, like I don't wanna promote stuff that I just, I'm not passionate about or don't think my viewers would like, so I won't, I won't do it. Um, secret, it says is zero streaming at all. So, I guess I can make the announcement, the official announcement. Since his dad passed away, he's, he truly has been having a hard time and um, I'm gonna try not to get emotional about it, but uh, he's not gonna be streaming anymore. He, his heart isn't, into it and he's like I've been doing it for three years and he goes I just he just wants to be on my stream when he can be there and then we're gonna be streaming together on Saturdays and so I don't know if he'll ever get back to I told him I was like honey um he goes it's just he's just in a different spot since it, his dad passed away so um and so yeah I, I would like for him to, but it's like what he wants to do and what he's passionate. Because if your heart's not in it, then I say don't stream. And so, um, so he just wants to support my stream and be on my stream, which we have a lot of fun together when we stream together. We have a blast. Um, and so, so that's, um, he hasn't, he hasn't made that announcement. I, I think he would be fine with me making that announcement. But, but anyway, um, so yeah, secret, that's what happened. Oh, secret. And so I know you're passionate about Alzheimer's awareness. I had found Cure Alzheimer's Fund. Um, they had great reviews on charity.org, probably one of the top out of all the Alzheimer's organizations. And so we're doing that in, in memory of, um, Zero's dad and his mom also, she has it as well so 
Uh, that's one of the charities we're supporting right now. Um, so, speaking of trying products, I can't wait to see y'all like our melt. Oh, heck yeah! I forgot about that! I totally forgot about that. We love you no matter what. Oh, Dixie, you're so sweet. Chef Peanut is here! God morning, good morning. It's Scott's morning too, Chef Peanut. <laughs> How are you doing? I heart you. Um, I, Chef Peanut is another awesome chef. We got some great, great streamers. I was saying that this morning. I love how we support one another. Oh crap, let me make sure I'm not burning my onions all. Cub says you and Zero are so cute together. Thank you. A uh, secret, do you have a link? A link. A li oh, for her melts or I do have a new website secret it's that we launched um oh ex secret explanation point donate in chat explanation point donate i thought you were talking about maybe her mouse or we did actually uh launch a new website presentedlove.com um which i'm excited about and zero um it has been a huge part of my stream and i'm just very appreciative of that I wonder if he's enjoying jury duty right now. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. And speaking of the charity stream, when Zero is ready, we are going to make his dad's favorite dessert on stream. Uh, we're going to make his dad love the lemon bars. So we're going to do we're going to do lemon bars. So, all right. Let me add all this ingredients. I am going to switch camera angles so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, those are the shells. All right, here we got the onions. We got our vegetables we're gonna add, our cream of mushroom. All right, I don't like how cream of mushroom looks, but that's what's going on it. Once it cooks, um, oh, all right. There we go. I need to get a smaller spoon. Hold on. All right, so we got our cream of mushroom. I don't like how that looks. It's like, all right, I need to lower the temp. I already can tell. All right, now we are gonna do half a cup of milk. Hold on. Alright, half a cup of milk, and hold on. I'm gonna stir that up. I know it doesn't look good at the moment, but it will be once it thickens up. Hold on. So. What you're going to do is you're going to bring it to a boil. This is 16 ounces of mixed vegetables, but I am going to do, you need about 10, 10 ounces. All right, sorry, I'm cutting this open right now. All right. And so what you're going to do is when you, I definitely need to season this up. And you're going to boil it, guys, until... The vegetables soften up. That's probably about right. All right. This is probably a little more than uh, ten ounces, but that's all right. Everybody needs their veggies, right? All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah, donation was successful. Awesome, did the alert night go off? Uh, my sound alerts have not been working and one of my favorite sound alerts is for donations because it, uh, it does vanilla ice. It does vanilla ice and it has him jumping up and down during the donation link. Did it do that at all? And it plays, um, it plays a, 
It plays a hilarious song. All right, so let's let's do some lovely sweet tomato here. I'm gonna do some salt and pepper. Let's see. I don't think so. I think the raised amount went up though. Oh, hair. Oh, it does say Harris family has donated to Tiltify for 25. Oh, you're gonna make Zero so happy. That's gonna mean a lot to him. Um, we definitely. So we've, throughout the two years we've been doing our food and drink stream, we've done uh, charity sh streams for children's organizations and mental health awareness. So this is our first uh, stream doing Alzheimer's and we felt it was very, very fitting. So we can do this in memory of uh, Zero's dad, knowing that it's a super special. And so, let me grab some salt, salt and pepper. My husband loves pepper, so I definitely need to get get some pepper on it. Oh, and I'm gonna add some garlic. We do need to add some garlic up in there. Ah, where's my garlic? Y'all, where's my garlic? Where's my garlic? Ooh, Burger Wife, if you're still in chat, I got my, BTYR Country Market Garlic Salt. Speaking of awesome people that send us stuff, um, this is an all natural company and I love their, I inhaled their barbecue sauce they sent me, but they have, if you do explanation point BTYR in chat, oh, Ruger Wife already sent it up. Um, one of their seasonings I'm gonna be using is their garlic salt is all natural. All right. So, Secret, thank you so much again. Hold on, let me add these seasonings real quick. And so, once this is done, we're gonna put these in the pastry. Pastry pots, oh, and I'm gonna, I'm using their salt as well. Ruger wife. So you're gonna salt and pepper it up and add some garlic. Salt. And we got our rainbow peppercorn. I'm not a huge black pepper fan, but my husband is. So I'm doing this for him. All right, so here is our garlic salt that we're gonna add in there. So. So I need to up the temp on this. And then after this is done cooking, we are gonna fill these little pastry puffs with, with our chicken pot pie filling. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? Speaking of chicken, I totally forgot. Ah, guys, my chicken, <laughs> I forgot to. I forgot to turn off the pressurization. Let's make sure it's not, hopefully it's not dry because you got to shred it and put it back in there. Why do I keep forgetting the chicken today to put in there? Third time this has happened. Is it meant to have just a vegetable pot pie? Uh, Ruger wife says, let me know if you need anything as well. We'll get it to you. I love all the stuff. We are so much. Uh, one of my favorite things is that that barbecue is in. I literally drank it, and Boxer saw me use it so much. She actually paid, placed a pretty large order uh, during the summertime because she wanted to put it on the ribs and use my um, a. Uh, she did my Instapot ribs. She is so sweet. I just love Boxer. Um, she's awesome if you don't know her. She is a sweetheart and just a huge, huge supporter on the Twitch community platform. I just love her to death and she's got a big heart. Um, let's see. Your son started a business where he makes drink mixes. Oh, nice! Secrets! I will do that. Oreos over here too. 
So let me take this off before I, oh, fingers crossed my chicken's okay. I don't know why I keep forgetting my chicken today. Cancel. All right. Man, hopefully it's not dry. Hopefully it's not like when Zero did his steak where I chip a tooth. Right, Lulu? Lulu, you want to you wanna treat? And I'll give Oreo one too. Hold on, Oreo's over here, so Oreo will be happy. Well, I'll give you uh, another one. Here we go. Let me secret, I'll switch camera angles. All right. Secret, thanks again for showing that love for our charity. We much appreciate it. All right, here we go. Oh, not that one. Wait, hold on, I'll get it right. All right, come here. How are you? How are you? All right. You better hurry and eat that before. Hurry and eat that before. Okay. Oreo, if you don't eat it, Lulu's, Lulu's going to get it. you do this? Lulu's not doing it. Hold on. Or Oreo. Do you not want your tree? Do you want your tree? Okay, I have to switch camera angles. Hold on. All right. There we go. There's Oreo. Lulu ate hers. There you go. Was that delicious? Was that delicious, Oreo? All right. There we go. We gave you plenty, Lulu. Little stinker. <laughs> Little stinker. All right. Um. That's the key ingredient. Wait, what did you say? We don't have, it says hot chocolate and melt. Oh, nice. That's funny, Kate. Uh, where are we? Your kids always have more money than me. Oh, I feel the same way. They want the pot, I know. Well, I would share the pot pie, but Lulu has a sensitive stomach. Uh, saw this the other day. I don't like to talk about the expensive trip, but I just got back from the grocery store. Right? Oh, my word. No doubt. Everything has gone up so much. It's ridiculous. Woo! It's bubbling up, y'all. Look. It's bubbling. Can you see the bubbles? Can you see it? All right. I need to taste it to see if I need to add any more. And guys, all I did was do the one can of cream of chicken. You added your mixed vegetables. Add a little bit of milk, half a cup. I did my BTYR garlic salt and regular salt. Added some rainbow peppercorn. Am I missing anything? Let me try the, the filling sauce real quick. And you just cook it until it's tender, the vegetables are. Hold on. Mmm. Ooh! That's got a lot of pepper. I know Zero's gonna love that. I don't wanna add more garlic salt though. Heck yeah. Woo. All right, we're gonna let this bubble up a little bit more and then we're gonna fill our pastries. You just gotta make sure it softens up. All right. Yeah, the grocery store, I, and it's hard, especially when you do a cooking stream too. Especially when the, and that's why I always love also giving uh, tips on where to go for shopping, where you can save money, especially in this day and age, and what's going on in the world with prices escalating and stuff. So 
I try to try to do what I can and try to share that on stream. What do y'all think? Oreo is looking at me. Oreo, what's going on? Y'all want to see Oreo? This is hilarious. Hold on. Oreo, what are you doing? Oreo, what are you doing? They're like, Mama, I want some pot pie. I want some pot pie. But yeah, no espresso for Maya. <laughs> No espresso. If I could bottle up what she had and sell it. Come over, look over here. Oreo, say hi to everybody. She would probably like chocolate or butterscotch. Oh, speaking of butterscotch, speaking of butterscotch, y'all, um, I showed this on stream. Where is it? So when Culinary Rewind and Irish Kate, her husband, and Dasha Joy were um, one of the places we went to on Sunday was a candy store. And I bought these two sodas. They had soda in there too. I bought a boysenberry pie and look, a butterscotch candy soda. And so Culinary Rewind, I don't know if you're in here still, but she was in here earlier. And I did not know this. Do you know if you boil soda, you can get it to the point where it turns into a syrup? How good would that be over some pancakes or, or waffles? How good would that be? Look, guys, it's bubbling up. Bubbling up. <laughs> Pippi, does that not sound good to you? It's bubbling, y'all. Bubble, bubble. All right, now I can lo lower the heat because it's kind of sticking to the bottom. All right, so I'm going to turn the heat off. Let me make sure that the vegetables softened up. I do need to shred the chicken to put it back in there. All right. You, does that not sound good to you, Pippi? No, not today? Look at Oreo. Oreo is still there. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, this is going to be delicious. Oh, you don't like bar spot? All right, I'm turning the heat back on because it just needs a little bit more to tenderize and all that. Mm. It was good though. Mm. Ooh. It has a nice kick to it with how much um, seasoning I add to it. It's really good. I'm licking the spoon, y'all. All right. Let's see how dry I made this chicken. <laughs> uh, I can't give zero of our time anymore, y'all. Okay. It's not bad at all. I was worried with how I did it. Oh, nice. It's still juicy. Heck yeah. We did good, y'all. Yay. I was worried I dried it out. Sometimes that happens, like, especially when I'm multitasking, trying to get um, multitasking with cooking and chat. And it's so easy to get distracted, but nine times out of ten, I do a pretty good job on my timing, but there's times that I'm like, ugh, what in the world did I do? All right, so let's shred this chicken. 
Yay! Let me taste it too, just to make sure. And so, oh yeah, we did it, y'all. We did it. I didn't mess it up. So you're just gonna shred up your chicken and then throw it in your your mixture that you added your cream of chicken, your seasoning, your vegetables, your milk, and you just continue to let it thicken up. And then all we're gonna do is add this shredded chicken back in there. And then that's it. Then put them in our pastries and then we'll be good. Like a flavor outside of those I can make just from my, uh, well, she loves like, Plain chocolate. She likes anything sweet. I definitely wouldn't try to give her any coffee flavor, but uh, yeah, she loves her some chocolate. She's like her mama. She has a sweet tooth. She loves her sweets. And she loves those ring pops. So if you, if you come to visit, People always bring her ring pops for some reason. Don't do it. Leave your ring pops at home, y'all. Leave your ring pops at home. We have a hundred. All right, so I'm gonna take this off now, and then we're gonna add our chicken. Woohoo! All right, that should be good. Oh my goodness with coffee flavors, but I don't want to spoil. No ring pops. Bring a box of ring pops, okay? No, that child, that child. <laughs> I just love her, her spirit is just, man. She's a, I hope she's like this when she's a teenager. Mine is her grumpy this morning, she is. Holy moly. You know what's funny is during the week at school, during the week at school, especially this morning, she woke up, she's like, Mama, I'm so tired. Just a few more minutes. It reminded me of dealing with a teenager. Just a few more minutes. And I was like, I promise on the weekend you can sleep in. You know what happens when the weekend comes around? She wakes up even earlier. It's like... Can't win for losing. I'm like, can you please, for the love of God, sleep in at least one day out of the week that I can actually sleep in? Because I have to wake up before anybody during the week. Well, I typically wake up before anybody anyway, but sometimes on a Saturday I will sleep longer than... I normally do, but then she'll wake me up. Hey, come on now. Come on now. Uh, I gotta get her to me. <laughs> You're so cute. Jedi hey, says, wish it. I had one that's tenth of her show. energy. You and me both. Dana's Kitchen is here. It ignites the... Hey, Dana's Kitchen. Speaking of charity streams, we are going to do one with Dana's Kitchen. We're going to do, I know guys, we I'm a huge mental health advocate. Um, that's actually what I do outside of Twitch as well, um, along with other stuff. But Dana's Kitchen and I are going to do a charity stream in honor of mental health awareness. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pick out a day. We're going to stream together. It's either going to be at my house or her house. She lives really close to me, and she had, like, such an awesome idea. We were kind of brainstorming when we were on the phone the other day, and so it's going to be awesome, awesome. So we're both really passionate about mental health awareness, so it's going to be pretty cool. Geek Boy, what are you doing with the hype? <laughs> Look at that, dear. How are you doing? Throwing up those... I love when you throw up the emotes. Um, wine and juice cup, mommy's sleep. Yeah, I did have a glass of wine last night before I went to bed. She's been taking forever lately for some reason to get to bed. So, Darth Fubaka, 
How the heck are you? Another awesome food and drink streamer. How are you doing? I hope you're doing awesome. We are good. I'm trying to, I'm doing my uh, chicken pot pie pastries. I keep forgetting to add the chicken in there. So we're gonna do that right now. You're working. Oh, thank you for being here while you're working, dear. Hold on a second. The juice just hit. Oh, thank you for throwing that <laughs> shout out to that sweetie pie up in the hizzy. In the hizzy. All right. We did, Darth, we already did our mixture in Geek Boy. We are doing our chicken pot pie pastries. And so we're adding this into our cream based sauce that are going into our pastry puffs. So they're basically mini pot pie pastries. I did definitely add a lot of chicken. So it's going to be hearty. A hearty meal. So typically it has more, if you've never had a pot pie before, it has a, a creamy, creamy mixture to it with less chicken. But I was thinking because it's a pastry puff, I didn't want, to, want it to get like really soggy. But it all depends on you how much chicken you want to add in there. But it's up to y'all. But I'm excited. The seasoning um, is really great. We just did some some all natural BTYR garlic salt. Added some regular salt, some rainbow peppercorn seasoning. We got our cream of chicken, our cream of chicken in there, our veggies, and so that's what we're doing. Uh, Hey, Zappy Tooth, welcome in. How the heck are you? Yes, we are making miniature pastry puff chicken pot pies. Uh, Zappy, I wish it would cure Alzheimer's. If it did, I would make a million of them. Um, we're actually, Zappy, we're doing this. Uh, welcome in, we appreciate you being here. We're actually doing um, this charity in memory of my father-in-law who passed away about a month ago. And so, um, hence the color purple everywhere. My hair is lightening up though. It was a darker purple, so I'm having to redo that. Uh, but you came just in time. I was just about to do the filling of the, the little pastry puffs. I've never had had it like this before. Um, so we'll see, Zappy. I love making simple um, home cooked recipes that are so easy to make at home. And so this one is super easy as well. It's my first time using puff pastry shells. Uh, I saw it at the store. It's like, I've never seen puff pastry shells before. Just the regular puff pastry sheets. And then when we were doing a menu prep on my last stream, I saw on the back of the pastry shell um, box, it had ingredients for chicken pot pie. I'm like, you know what? I have not had chicken pot pie in forever. We gotta try that. You have cotton candy pink hair, heck yeah. I love colored hair. I do, and anytime we do a charity stream, I always color it the same color as whatever charity ribbon we're doing. Oh, thank you for that follow, Zappy. I'm sorry, the uh, sound alarms are not working on my on my things. I don't know why it's doing that. So, Zappy, I have a question. What color brand do you use? Because I used, I love Colorista. And then I used Splat for the very first time. It was terrible. But Colorista and the other ones didn't have the purple I needed for this string. And so I'm gonna redo my hair. Uh, have you used this, this brand? I've used L'Oreal as far as my blonde, uh, but never done it as a color color. And 
This one's called Power Violet. Hopefully it's not messy. That splat dye was a nightmare. I thought it was gonna stain our white shower. And I know Dixie uh, said splat is hit or miss on the dyes. And I'm glad Dixie you told me to like cover with the towel and stuff, but other, all the other brands didn't have the color I needed. And so I will never use that brand ever again. And I do not recommend it. I do not. So I'm gonna reposition my, my camera. Hold on. My food can. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. All right. I love pink hair too. Mine's mine's more pink now. It used to be like a dark, dark, dark color. Dark color. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Best followers and viewers on viewers. What does that mean? Viewers on viewers on viewers. What does that mean? Best view. We do have the best viewers on Twitch, if that's what you mean. We do. <laughs> we do have the best viewers on Twitch. I agree. I couldn't tell if that was a bot or a compliment. I couldn't tell. All right, let's fight this bad boy. I um, probably will have to. I got to see if, if my work stuff, how my work stuff is going. Seeing if I need to jump off or not. Hopefully I can stay up a little longer on stream. Uh, leftover chili mac and chickpeas. I love chickpeas. I bought some more chickpea pasta because it's awesome. Are you a national blonde? Then you're lucky. <laughs> oh, so I've been blonde all my life, but then I got, Zappy, I got to the point, and I don't know if you can see it. It's darkened up over the years. I'm 45, so. Um, Tell it a little bit. I wish you could tell a little bit. That's it's dark enough. It used to be like a lot lighter when I was younger. Like blonde blonde. Like my daughter blonde. My daughter's a blonde too. So is my husband. Um, but yeah, it's like over the years it's lightened up. So but it doesn't take much to lighten my hair. I, I, use, I do my hair myself, and all I have to do is this part, the top part. But, like, when I color my hair for charity, I uh, only do the bottom half. That's it. Ha! <laughs> You're banned in Pippi? I've been streaming for two and a half hours. So, I took, once again, a 20 to 25 minute meal and made it two and a half hours long. <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, there we go. Now you can see me plate this. All right, so these little puff pastry cups look pretty cool. All you do is have to bake them for like 18 to 20 minutes. So let me get a spoon. So I pushed this one down. So what you can do is you can take out the center, but you can also put it, put it on top after you're done filling it up. Or you can scoop up your, let me taste this, your chicken filling. Hold on. And here's our filling zappy. Zappy, this is super easy to make at home. We did, I put a lot of chicken in there, but we all you need is a cream of, I keep saying cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, seasoning, a bag of your mixed vegetables. What else did we add in there, guys? Milk. All right, so now we are gonna fill these up. Let's see. 
Let me try to bring the camera closer. Looks like it's so far. There we go. Where's my paper towel? So. Oh, not a paper towel. Let me grab some. Where are you? What are you doing? Do you need to go potty? Do you? You got to stay out. Okay. So, needs bacon on top, right? All right. So, this looks really good, y'all. All right. Let's add some more. All right. And so, I think I want to take the little... I'll do another one. But... That's the puff pastry. You can add the top to it or not. But, maybe uh, Ooh, this is flaky. I love it. So, if I see these again, I'm totally buying the puff pastry shells. A little biscuit. Look at that. And then we're going to fill that in. I definitely need to take a picture of this goodness. I'm excited how this is going to taste. Has anybody else done it like this before? Totally doing it like this. Heck yeah. Woo! Oh, thank you for that follow. Meow. Meow, I'll show you my cat. He's roaming around here somewhere. Meow, meow. I love it. Welcome on in. Tries to take a bite, but it almost looks... You lick the monitor? Nice. Well, I'll let you know how it tastes. Mia, how are you doing today? Thank you for stopping by my stream. I love your name. We love animals here. Oh, that looks good. All right. Let me put it up there. All right. So, our puff, puff, puff pastry. Look at that. Look at that. Woo woo. I need to take a picture. Heck yeah. You're doing good. Oh, we are doing good. Thank you for being here. Yeah, we I always um do random items on my stream. And I saw this at the store and had to do it. Had to do it. And it was the first time ever I saw puff pastry shells. And I'm like, heck yeah. All right, let me take a picture real quick. But I will say I'm not the best picture taker, but I try my best. Oh, that looks good. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. All right. All right, we're going to try it. Let's try it. It needs some cheese on top. You want me to add some cheese? Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. All right. So if you're just now joining, here it is. One without a top, with a top. Boop, boop. Let's try it. I'm excited. Oh. All right, let's see how it goes. Oh, Dana's Kitchen, thank you. You know what I'll do tonight? Uh, Cubs, I'll let you know how it try, uh, tastes. I'll melt. 
I'll melt cheese on it. Uh, maybe a Munster cheese or something like that. I think that would be good. Or I could do that right now. Hold on. I think I got Munster cheese. Hold on. That actually sounds good. Where is it? Anybody else like Munster cheese? I love Munster cheese. It's one of our favorites. Hold on. Oh, I still have my camera on the refrigerator. I did that because Ore Oreo was, there we go. Oreo was uh, standing by the fridge. I was wanting you guys to do that. Yes, Monster Cheese, the Monster Mash Cheese. The only thing about Monster Cheese though, it melts kind of different than some cheeses. All right, I'm gonna try one with, with cheese and without. Mmm, monster, monster. All right, ooh, all right. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna melt this in the microwave real quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it without it. I feel like I need to eat it like a sandwich. I don't know. Mmm. I bet it's gonna taste really good with some cheese too. Mmm, the Munster Mash. Chef Fun Boy, how are you doing? I just, um, it's just so good. Chef Fun Boy likes to dance on his stream too. Oh, heck yeah, look how good this looks. Oh, I gotta take a picture of this. Mmm. Come on. Chef Fun Boy, I'm gonna show you this. Oh my goodness. Good call, cub, cubbies. My cubs for love. Ah! My phone's messing up though. I wish it looked as good as it does in person. I'll show you guys on stream. All right, here we go. This is what it looks like. Hold on. All right. It's got a pee on top. I don't know. So. We got one with cheese and one without. And I'm making a mess. Oh. Chef Fun Boy, thank you for being here. Mmm. I hurt. Mmm. I made. Chicken pot pie pastries. Mm. These are terrible. You don't want any. I can't wait to try the one with the monster cheese. Mm. Oh, so good. Y'all, you need to make this at home and I totally would try this, guys. Easy to make. Zero is gonna love this. Let me grab some water real quick. That is so good. Got my pineapple hint water today. 
Holy mother. Yes, it is Nina's mom. I'm telling you. Heck yeah. Chef boy, I Chef Fun Boy, I am doing good. I'm this is so good. I've just been so busy. Um but I know you guys know how that is. Zero is gonna love this. Is it too late to garnish? What would you like me to garnish with? I garnished with some Munster cheese. How about I take a bite and then what do you want me to garnish with? Mmm. This is good too. I <laughs> didn't your mom and tell you to <laughs> rude not to share. It is so good. Oh, for sure. My uh, husband loves paprika. Let's try it with some paprika. What's awesome is I literally, I'm glad you said that. I ran out of my smoked paprika. I literally have this much left. And then they had this uh, a little small market um, close to us. I got some. So I'll use the leftovers of this. Ooh. All right. Should I try to take a picture with that? You can see my bite. That actually looks good to me. Taking a bite out of it. All right. Ooh, cilantro. I love cilantro. I have cilantro. I have a whole bag. What did I add cilantro to the other day? I cannot even remember. Oh, my mashed potato sausage boots. Because I couldn't find my green onions. And it never fails when I got off stream and cleaned up the fridge, I found my green onions. Cause that's how I roll. <laughs> that's how I roll y'all. All right, we're doing it all. That's what we do here y'all. We, we do input from others and uh, we share recipes and all sorts of fun stuff if you're new to my channel. Um, all right, so Dana's Kitchen wanted paprika, I hearts wanted cilantro, uh, Cubs wanted cheese. Hold on, let's take a picture. Let's take another picture. We got so many recommendations. No, t we're not doing <laughs> turmeric. No, no. Do you really want turmeric? That looks really pretty though. You were right about the color. All right, you guys ready to see? <laughs> Turmeric. <Nah. laughs> All right, you can see my phone. All right, this looks pretty. We got our paprika and our cilantro on top now. All right, let's try it and our monster cheese. There we go. Mmm. Yeah. That's for sure good. Thank y'all for the suggestions. That is super good. Right, Lulu? Right, Lulu? Uh, cheers. Cheers. So good. Hippie! Tell her I have her 
her some ice cream. I have some ice cream for her. And that's what we'll, our next uh, recipe with Javi coffee, I am gonna do coffee uh, with ice cream on top and then the magic shell. I got a supermarket in my house. I feel like it. I'm constantly grocery shopping, I feel like. Constantly. Well, that turned out really good. How long have I been streaming, y'all? How long have I been streaming? Y'all, can somebody do exclamation point uptime in chat? Oh my goodness. Ah! Uh, let's see. Hold on. Ah! Why is my thing not working? Uh oh. Almost. Three hours. Okay. Awesome. I was also trying to, let's see. You know, let's see. So there's somebody that's always in my chat. I have to do some work stuff. I'm going to be busy. So, guys, my schedule is going to be honestly really wonky. Um, and I'm going to be kind of all over the place. And with work, so it's been a lot more than normal. Um, however, hopefully I can keep it somewhat the same. I may be able to stream on the same days, just not as long, but sometimes I'll be able to stream longer. We'll see, but either way, I'm still always gonna come back to my Twitch family and be here with you guys. So I will be streaming again tomorrow, um, but I gotta do some work stuff. So I hope you understand. Now there is somebody I have never, ever, ever rated before, and he is constantly in my stream. And uh, I really want to show the love back. So please come join me. Oh, I forgot. I ow! I just hit my head on my camera. Um, hold on. Don't go anywhere, guys. Please show him. Um, the same love that you've shown me. I would so appreciate it. For some reason, I can't do my rape command anymore on my computer. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm so excited I'll be able to raid this person because, um, oh crap, did I do his name right? Hold on, let me see if I did it right. I've done that, has anybody done that before? where they uh, go and raid somebody, and then they accidentally um, type in the wrong, <laughs> the wrong name. Actually, I almost did that because I went and looked again. Um, and I almost did that. All right, it's two Fs, not one. All right. Let's see if I can do it. Please come join me. Um, and we're gonna go raid. Did I do it right? We're gonna go raid Chef Bunboy. I've never been able to show the love back and he's always in my stream. And so I'm a firm believer. I love to show love that shows love to us. I'll be back tomorrow. And Lulu says she loves y'all too. And so, Lulu, say bye to everybody. Say, let's go say hi to Chef Fun Boy. <laughs> so we're going to go do that, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I just have to get back to work, and I apologize. But I'm so glad I got to spend my day with y'all. Kelly Cakes and my hearts. I love y'all. Y'all always make my day. I'll see you.